This will be a quick little freeze test between the iPhone 14 Pro Max versus, of course, its natural rival, right? The Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. Okay, so let's just go ahead and check out the phones real fast, starting with the iPhone 14 Pro Max. So you can see. So this is pretty much still a new phone. Check out the dynamic island. Yeah, everything works as it should. No issues yet. I'm gonna put that down and then we'll do the same thing to the S22 Ultra. Turn it on real quick, get into the phone and it's a perfectly working phone. Nothing wrong with it. Check out the S Pen right there. Okay, so I mean, this will just be a simple test really. We're just gonna very simply pour water into these containers where the phones are in with this strawberry lemonade, strawberry lemonade, sparkling water here by Market Pantry. Shout out to Market Pantry. We're gonna pour this liquid into the container, put the containers in the freezer for about, I don't know, 10 hours, 11 hours, something like that, basically overnight. And then tomorrow I'll see if the phone survive. All right, so without further delay, let's just get started. Um, let me open this up. Very nice. Ooh, let me do the, let me smell this. Strawberry lemonade. Whoa. It smells very nice. Too bad you can't smell it through the camera, but, and this thing's about to overflow. That smells pretty good. Maybe I'll have some after I pour this in. Oh, here we go. I'm making a mess. Check this out. It's gonna come up to the surface. Well, anyway, enough of that. I'm just gonna go ahead and pour it in. Starting first on the iPhone. <laughs> I think that's about right. And then now on the uh, S22 Ultra. Very nice. Okay, now let me look at the levels. And are they about the same? Yeah, they're about the same. Close enough. Actually, I forgot to do something. Ah, darn it. What I was also gonna do for this test is, I was actually gonna, oh, look at the Samsung. It's going crazy. I was gonna actually also run the clock on both phones. All right, so let that run during the test just to kind of see if it'll stay running or if it'll stop for some reason. There you go. So let that run, drop them back in. All right, man, let's just put these in the freezer right now. This will just be a real quick test. Crazy. All right, so let's, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and open the ice box right now. Let me get the tripod. The iPhone, as you can see, the dynamic island right there. And it's gonna go into the freezer right there. There it is. If I can get the camera to focus, check that out. That ice cream sounds pretty good right now too. <laughs> Now what is the uh, iPhone doing? I mean the S22 doing? It's on eBay. It's on eBay. Okay, well, there it is. There they are. Okay, now where's my uh, where's my 13? My iPhone 13. So I'm gonna go ahead and start this up. Right. I'm gonna go ahead and start that up. I'm gonna close the ice box, and there we go. So. I'm basically just gonna let it sit there overnight, right? Um, tomorrow during the day, I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna defrost the phones and see if they survived or not. So I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, it's the following day. As you can see about, we'll round up to 10 hours later. So let's just um, see what we're dealing with here. Open up the ice box. I'm gonna take you guys with me and have a look at that. Oh boy. Wow. Okay. 
Um, let's just go ahead and grab these two. And uh, yeah. Ho, 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 ho. All right, I'm gonna put you guys down here. Give me a second. Um, all right, let me adjust the tripod accordingly. All right, cool. Give me like a quick second. Let me close the ice box. Grab my iPhone 13. I'm just gonna put that to the side. All right, how are we gonna situate this? All right, I'm gonna grab this one. This one is the uh, I don't know. Uh, which one? This looks like to be the uh, the S. Put that in the sink, and then this one is the um, the 14. Man, this thing is cold. <laughs> All right, so kind of see what we're dealing with, and uh, wow. Whoops. A little bit of slippage. Look at that water beading on the S22. Looks like it has like some sort of ceramic coating on it. <laughs> Actually, that'd be kind of cool. If you had somebody actually try to ceramic coat a phone, that'd be uh, kind of interesting. But for real though, look at the water beading on the um, look at that water beading on the iPhone. Look at the beads. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Looks like the S is free. Now I'm gonna. But for real though, hold on a second. Look at the water beading here. Look at look at look at like these huge look at just look at how beautiful the beads are. That's that that's pretty sick. <laughs> All right. Anyway, enough of that. Um, okay, so the phones are free from the ice, as you can see. All right. So I'm gonna let me switch. I'm gonna go over here. iPhone 14 Pro Max versus. Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra freeze durability test. Okay, first check the S22 Ultra and see if this phone works. All right, I have a feeling it should. You know, this is like, I don't know, the fourth or fifth time I'm freezing phones now and the durability of these devices in the past is just, it's amazing, right? IP68 water and dust resistance. They can resist the cold, you know, nicely. And I expect this to be no different, but let's find out right now. I'm gonna turn on the power button and let's go. And as I expected, the phone turns on, no issues, battery levels at 90%. If I remember correctly, when I first started this, I think the battery was like 96 or something like that. All right, so I'm gonna swipe up. I'm gonna go around the display. Display seems to work. And let me take a look at it right now. I'm not seeing any water or anything under the display, although there's an indicator right there. Look at that, that's interesting. Let's zoom in here, little indicator right there. It's a water drop. So I'm gonna go down, what does that say? That says, check charger USB port, moisture has been detected. Oh, I'm gonna click open that notification. Moisture has been detected in your charger USB port. Make sure it's dry before charging your phone. And then you can see there's some water there, obviously. So I'm gonna shake it out. You know, I'll see maybe, I don't know if that'll disappear on its own, if it's dry or if I have to swipe it away, but all right, that's to be expected. I mean, yeah, but overall, I think the phone works. Let's go ahead and see if I'm gonna fire up the camera real quick. And I'm gonna, you know, just take a quick picture of something right now. Take a picture of the iPhone. Okay, I'm gonna take a quick video. I'm gonna record this right now. All right, this is a quick video from the S22 Ultra. Right after the freeze test, let me know if the audio and video quality does the video or does the audio sound muffled does the video sound blurry or what am i saying is the audio muffled and is the video look blurry there you go there you go let me know in the comments peace out all right let me know what's up down in the comments 
Yeah, but the screen seems to work. I'm gonna get in here. I don't see any condens condensation in the camera lens. I'm gonna flip the phone over and I'm not seeing any condensation in the camera lens on the rear glass. Go ahead and test out the, uh, where was it? Oh, here's the clock, that's right. So you can see that clock still running in the background. I've never seen this reload ever. And then let's see, test out the sound right now. I'm gonna do this. Let's see, and let's play. Whoops, there's an ad, here we go. Okay, slightly muffled on the sound. I'm gonna try to shake the phone. Play. Overall, I think that sounds pretty good. Let the phone dry. I think this phone will function 100%. Cool, so that's the S22 Ultra. I'm gonna put the S22 Ultra to the side. And of course, now we have to test out the iPhone 14 Pro Max. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on. Will it turn on? I think it will, but let's find out right now. And phone turns on as I expected. Very nice. Turn back off again. Let's take a look at the dynamic island here. I'm not seeing any water underneath the screen or in the lenses or anything like that. I think that's fine. I think that looks good. I'm gonna go over here in the camera lens here and the same thing not seeing any damage or anything no water underneath the glass pretty good we'll take a look at the ports there's probably a, there's water in there obviously but nothing inside the phone i don't think so and also no notification on the iphone yeah i'm not seeing any of like you know um Moisture detected or anything like that, like on the Samsung. Now, is that a good or a bad thing? I don't know. We'll see. Screen seems to work just fine. I'm gonna swipe down. There's that. Swipe here. There's that. I mean, yeah. Seems to work. Now, let's go ahead and go to the stopwatch. Still running in the background. Again, never seen this reload on any phone ever. Let's test out the sound. Uh, don't allow that. All right, here we go. Turn the volume up. Give the phone a shake. Maybe shake out some of the water. See how this sounds. I think that sounds pretty good. Give this phone a few hours. I think the speakers, the ports will dry up and that speaker is gonna sound like 100%. So I'm gonna give that a pass. Finally, let's go ahead and test out the camera. Where's my S22? Go ahead and do that. I'll take a quick picture of this phone. Let me know how that looks. I'm gonna take a quick video. All right, this is a quick test from the iPhone 14 Pro Max right after the freeze test. Let me know of the audio and video quality. Does the audio sound muffled? Does the video look blurry? Let me know down in the comments. Peace out. And there we go. Cool, man. So this has been a quick little durability test. A freeze test between the iPhone 14 Pro Max and the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra let me know what you thought about this quick little test in the comments down below. Again, these phones with its IP68 water and dust resistance. I mean, these phones that they're putting out nowadays are pretty darn durable. I'm actually quite impressed that they can take a beating such as cold temperatures, etc. And phones last many, many years now. You should be able to keep your phone as long as it's getting software updates for three, four, five years. Anyway, thanks for watching.
Peace out. All right, this is a quick video from the F22 Ultra. Right after the freeze test, let me know of the audio and video quality. Does the video or does the audio sound muffled? Does the video sound blurry? Or what am I saying? Is the audio muffled and is the video look blurry? There you go. There you go. Let me know in the comments. Peace out. All right, this is a quick test from the iPhone 14 Pro Max. Right after the freeze test, let me know of the audio and video quality. Does the audio sound muffled? Does the video look blurry? Let me know down in the comments. Peace out.